Hi, Jack here with Two Brothers Adventures. I'm out here camping with my brother and his family and a couple of my kids. You might see them running around in the background. We've got a couple of dogs with us too, so they may be in and out of the picture. Um, we're up here. It's uh, raining a little bit right now. We've got the tarp up over the top of us. You can't really see that, but we're going to try and do this video anyways. Um, what I'm going to try and demonstrate today is we're going to make some lunch for uh, my kids on the Piney Pot. There's a guy called Tinny from uh, Mini Bull Design that created these and uh, made these and sells these actually, this whole kit just like this. Um, you should go check out his sites on YouTube. Uh, just type in Tinny, T-I-N-N-Y. He's got a bunch of videos that describe all about this and alcohol stoves. Um, he's been doing it for a long time. He's a really neat guy. His videos are fun to watch. Um, he sells his stuff off of a website called minibulldesign.com. Um, I made this one myself just to see if I could and just to kind of familiarize myself with the components, but he sells them so cheap, I would just definitely recommend buying one from him versus trying to go to all the hassle to put one together. In the end, I'm glad that I did it so that I can, uh, you know, understand how it works and that I had the experience, but if I had to do all over again, I may have just, uh, just purchased one. It would have probably been cheaper. I think it cost me more to put this together than he actually sells his for. So anyways, I've already got one cooking here. Um, I'm going to take this one apart and show it to you as I get this one started. What it is, is a couple of Ziploc containers that he's put together here to, to store everything in. And it's an alcohol stove that's made with uh, aluminum pop cans. There's plenty of YouTube videos that show you how to make these. They're pretty easy to make. Um, I definitely recommend trying it just so that you can understand how it works and it's just something fun to do and it's a good skill to have. You can find a pop can almost anywhere out in the forest like this or anywhere else and if you need to make one of these you know it's pretty easy to do. Um, they call them penny stoves. Just do a YouTube search. I'm sure you can find something about those on there. Um, Tinny from Mini Bull Design, he makes his own stoves. They're actually a lot better than these. They're a lot more professional. He does them on a lathe and does certain things with them. They burn a lot longer, a lot better, so, you know, you might want to go to his his website and just take a look at that because it might be something you want to do. I just made these once again because I wanted to have the experience. So, anyways, it's an alcohol stove, so you pour your alcohol on this, let it soak in. As you see, there's some holes in it in the top, allow the alcohol to soak in. Well, first, before we get that all ready to go, let me describe the rest of this rest of this kit here. What he does is he takes a, uh, a Heineken can, a 24 ounce Heineken can I think it is, and cuts the top off with a side cut can opener. And uh, he describes all this on his website so I won't go too much into it, but it leaves you with a lid and a nice pot. Now the, the nice thing about these pots is because the way the can's ribbed, it, it's very strong and it's very sturdy and they're coated with a coating inside that's non-stick and uh, it also allows it so the aluminum won't bleed into whatever you're cooking. It's very durable, lasts a long time. Um, as you can see, I've used this pot quite a bit. Um, I like it a lot. Everything stores down inside. The stove can store inside the pot. Uh, the the uh, stand can store inside the pot. The windscreen, it's all inside the pot. You can even put a striker inside there and have everything you need in this little thing. It hardly weighs anything. And that's the beauty of it. Um, I think he calls his the Graham weenie kitchen or something because he likes to go super ultra light. And this whole thing, as you see, I've got a couple of bowls, I've got a stove, I've got everything, and I, I don't know how much this weighs, but it basically weighs nothing. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get this and fire it up and kind of show you how it works. So you pour your alcohol in. This is just denatured alcohol. Um, you can burn rubbing alcohol, but it doesn't burn as good and it also blackens your pots as you see here so I definitely recommend denatured alcohol you can also burn heat you can buy Walmart, Target, any automotive store um, heat is basically just alcohol and it, it works really well also but I'm going to use denatured alcohol today they call them a penny stove because you put a penny up on the top to plug the holes where the where the gas goes down in now these stoves have to kind of be primed a little bit and get hot so that the alcohol can vaporize and actually burn. And you got to remember too that alcohol burns um, colorless and clear. So you really can't tell when these have started up too too much. You kind of got to be careful.
It's easy to see when you're inside, but when you're actually out here in the forest, it's a little bit tough, especially when it's windy and rainy. I don't know if you can hear the rain hitting the tarp, but I'm going to have to probably put up a windscreen here, so the wind's actually coming from behind the camera, so sorry about this, but it's going to kind of block your view a little bit. Let me get it going and get it started, and then I'll... Oh, well, it's actually going. See, it's, it's hard to see when it's uh, when it's lit, but that's actually, it's burning. Oh, I think it went out. It's a lot easier to do this uh, sitting inside your house than it is, you know, out here when it's rainy and windy and you're trying to get this get this accomplished. It still can be done. But it's a lot tougher to do it when you're out really doing it. Chloe, move out of the way. Come here. Come here. Sorry, that's my dog Chloe. She just wants to see what's going on. Okay, that's going. I'm going to have to use the windbreak to kind of block your view here. Or else I'm never going to get this to go. Okay, so I've got this pot stand. This is just hardware cloth. Put it out and it actually clips right on the bottom of your pot. Stands over the stove, as you kind of can see this one. The stove is underneath it and it just burns up through there. I'm going to make some ramen noodles today. So what I'm doing is putting two cups of water in here. And I'm going to get that, bring it to a boil. Got my gloves so that I don't burn myself while I'm playing with all this hot stuff now I haven't done it because I haven't bothered to yet but Tinny from Mini Bull Design he has a really cool system with his where he wraps the green part of these cans with a wick and it what it does is it allows you to grab the can even when it's got boiling water in it and it's it's a really great thing I haven't bothered to do that with mine yet so I just have to wear gloves and do it this way but that's another reason why I'd recommend that you check out his site and do his maybe buy his kit because he gets all that you know good stuff for you like that and you don't have to worry about trying to find it or mess with it that's the biggest reason I haven't done it is because uh, is because I I don't know where to find the stuff I haven't looked into it yet so anyways I'm gonna cut now and uh, you see this one's starting to steam when this gets boiling, I'll bring it back on and we'll show you how we get it going here. All right, we're back, and as you can see, this uh, pot on my right here is boiling. Um, it's got a good rolling boil. You probably really can't see that, but you can see the steam coming out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow this stove out. And then I've got my boiling water that I'm going to pour over my ramen noodles here. This is going to be lunch for one of my kids. So anyways, I'm going to sit here and wait for the next one to boil because i got one more uh, hungry kid to feed. As you can see, these work really, really great. Probably took me about 10 minutes, uh, maybe 12 to get this to boil. Um, they work really great. They're excellent for backpacking and it's light. Uh, I brought it up here to use just because I wanted to try it out and maybe do a quick little video on it. But definitely go and check out Tinny's website or his, uh, his uh, YouTube videos. That's T-I-N-N-Y, Tinny. Uh, for Mini Bull Design, and also check out his website, minibulldesign.com. Um, he sells all this stuff, plus a lot of other neat things. Um, I got him to credit for all of this stuff. Like I says, I made all this myself, but I wished I would have just bought his stuff because it probably would have been cheaper in the end. So make your own, go to his site, and uh, buy his stuff. Um, great guy. I'd love to have somebody support him and uh, help him out. So I'm going to go feed my kids and keep your knife sharp and have a good day.